We eat it all the time. We love it. Unfortunately, there turns out to be some social justice issues with cocoa. Uh, let's hear from some experts. Over 70% of the world's cocoa comes from West Africa. This key ingredient of chocolate is cultivated on an estimated 2 million family farms in the region. The particular nature of the cocoa tree means that it is both ideally suited to the lush tropical regions of West Africa and to smallholder management. The cocoa crop provides a primary income for millions of West Africans, supporting communities, enabling children to attend school, and contributing to national income. However, growing cocoa is very labor intensive, and as in family farming everywhere, it is not uncommon to find children working on the farms alongside their parents. The children working may be family members, or they may be employed laborers, often paid a very limited amount. In some cases, children migrate on their own from poorer areas of the region to find work, but some are brought to work, away from their families, and essentially without compensation. This practice is called trafficking, and is criminalized under the International Labor Organization's Convention 182. In the case of the Ivory Coast, trafficked children are usually brought from countries such as Mali and Burkina Faso to the north, or Togo and Benin to the east. For Ghana, children may be brought from the northeast of the country, reflecting the migration patterns of adult labor. Unfortunately, the trafficking of children is a known phenomenon in West Africa not limited to the cocoa sector. As in other regions of the world, children are often treated as an economic asset and the protection of their rights needs strengthening. The ICI, founded in 2002, is a partnership of key labor unions, leading NGOs and the major companies involved in the processing and marketing of cocoa and chocolate. The creation of this partnership recognized that child labor is a result of a number of complex issues that no single organization can address on their own. Since 2004, ICI has worked closely with cocoa growing communities to better understand the issues and improve conditions that will eliminate the worst forms of child labour and forced labour in the sector. So the question is, how did we get to this kind of place? Let's look at some history of the cocoa plant. Uh, it originated uh, a long time ago, uh, it developed in South America, and uh, the word uh, cocoa uh, actually comes from a Mayan word, which means bitter juice. Uh, it was first brought over to Europe uh, in the 1400s, and then uh, in 1845, it was first put into production as a chocolate bar by Lord John Cadbury uh, of somewhat famous name, which gave us the Cadbury Company. But then in about the 1800s, uh, it, it moves. Right now, there's still cocoa growing in South America. That's not what I mean by moves. It means that really the major production moved to primarily uh, West Africa. Uh, and this was in the late 1800s. And it moved there because it did well. Uh, and one cocoa tree will typically produce, you know, a thousand beans, which gives you about one kilogram of chocolate uh, a year. Uh, now, one kilogram of chocolate a year means you need a lot of trees uh, for the kind of consumption that we're dealing with. Now, the question is, uh, why did it move? Of course, there are many factors. Uh, the fact that it was the right climate. It turns out that uh, cocoa trees really grow best when it's within 20 degrees north and south uh, of the equator in latitude. Uh, but of course, there are always economic uh, reasons as well. There was cheap labor uh, in Africa. There was also little to no regulations uh, which meant the plantation and farm owners uh, could do whatever they wanted. And we have to remember that uh, this is a crop, so it's a volatile commodity. Some years are good years, some years are bad years. This makes 
the plantation and farm owners very nervous and they are always trying to keep their uh, production costs as low as possible as a hedge against having such a volatile commodity. If we put all this together, unfortunately, that's a recipe for child labor. <laughs>